Well, this fall will mark a historic first at UMHB as the school's football team embarks on a new era. Sports director Curtis Quillen is here now with the passing of the Chorch as the legendary Pete Fredenberg retires. Yeah, he's hung, around, he's hung around a long time. He has. He's the only head football <laughs> coach the school has ever known. And as we sat down with him and newly promoted head coach Larry Harmon to discuss the passing of the Torch, we learned that just because there's a change at the top doesn't mean everything will be different. For 24 seasons, Pete Fredenberg was the friendly face roaming the sidelines as the head football coach at Mary Harden Baylor. I still thought that I would stay here a couple of years and get back into Division I, but I fell in love with Division Three, fell in love with this university. But now the only head coach one of Division Three football's biggest powers has ever known is calling it a career. After 231 wins, 17 playoff berths, five Stag Bowl appearances, and two national championships. My wife has done a great job of taking and raising our three children, and then uh, now it's, it's time for me to help, and I, I want that. I, I want to be able to watch our, our grandkids. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's time. I felt like it was time. Almost the entire time, Larry Harmon has been in the meeting room with him. So I was asked the question, why do you think you're the guy? Why do you think you're the best guy for it? And, I've been here so long, I, I, I wasn't the guy that got to make the final decision, but I, I've been involved in every major conversation dealing with this program since 1999. Harmon spent 17 seasons as defensive coordinator and coached countless All-Americans, including Baylor Mullins, who played on the 2016 team, which had its national championship vacated by the NCAA, and says, there's nobody better to take over. As quick as, as my first week on campus as a freshman, you know, playing on the defensive ball, side of the ball, uh, obviously playing in the secondary, which is what Coach Harmon coached. Uh, from the very first moment I stepped on campus, I knew that guy meant business. As the program embarks on a new voyage, it does so with fond memories of the first 24 seasons. Even if Fredenberg moved to Belton, thinking at first he'd only be there for a minute. When you juxtapose your coach, coaching career, you went from being a, a coordinator and an assistant in the Southwest Conference and like at schools like Baylor, yeah. coaching Louisiana Tech, and then you come to a program where they've never played football before. <laughs> it's their first first couple of years in Division yeah, One period, where, yeah. and you're playing at a high school stadium. That's right. Uh, what what why, was it that got the? What was what was the motivation? I, <laughs> you know, and also took a huge cut mm -hmm. in pay. But the reality is that I really, I really and truly believe that this is where God wanted me. I mean, um, and, and the, the proof is in the pudding. I mean, we've just had 24 years of, of glorious time. 24 years of stories to get passed down to the next generation of Crusaders. We beat Mountain Union there our senior year in 2016. And uh, I think Coach Fred showed a few dance moves in the locker room that, that will stick with us forever. And uh, he, he can get it no matter what age he is. He can still get after it. As a proud program sets its sights to the future with a loyal, longtime first mate tasked with keeping this ship on course. I've put my life's work into this program. And because of that, it's just not so easy to, to walk away. You know, you go to other campuses and you interview and it's just... It's nice. You, I mean, they got nice stuff, and the head coach has been every everybody I've uh, interviewed for has been real great. But it's it's just not home. I mean, Mary Harden Baylor is home to me.